Hey guys, what's up? It's Nick here, and in this video I'm going to be doing a review of the Numbers application for the Mac. Now what Numbers is, is it's an application that comes in the Apple iWorks suite, which is basically like Apple's version of Microsoft Office. And so if we go down, the application Numbers is actually an alternative to what would be Microsoft Office Excel. But it kind of has a different interface to it, and to me it has more options and actually works better than Microsoft Excel, which is actually... um. I've actually uh, used the iWork suite and compared it to the Microsoft Office suite and my personal opinion is I like the iWork suite better because it's a cleaner, better interface and it's got more features to it. So in this video I'm going to be doing a quick run over of the Numbers application which is the uh, Excel alternative in the iWork suite. So first of all you can go ahead and find the iWork suite at apple.com slash iWork. You can go ahead and either download a free trial or you can go ahead and buy it now. And so now let's go ahead and do the review of Numbers. So I got numbers down here in my dock, so if we go ahead and launch it up, this is the launch screen to which it starts up is. You have a couple categories over here. You have a category for the all, which shows all of the different kinds of templates you can use. You have one for blank, which if I scroll over on blank, it shows the different kind of blank templates you can have, as in the blank Excel document and the blank checklist. Over here we have templates for personal finances, such as checking register, budget, net worth, savings calculator, school savings, retirement savings, home inventory, mortgage, and loan comparison. Over here we have personal, which we can do for uh, a workout tracker, which you can track your workout speed. You have a weight tracker, baby record, and all these other ones down here. For business, down here we have an employee schedule, an invoice letter, an expense report, financials, and return on investments. And here on education, you have something for science lab, grade book, gravity lab, and math quiz. So anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys uh, some of this stuff. I think I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the blank document right now. So over here, this is what the blank document looks like right here. And it's pretty much the same interface for all the different kinds of documents up here. So up here at the top, we have the option to view. We can view in show print mode, show layout, show rulers, or hide format bar, and all these other options here. Plus sheet right here will create another sheet. So if I create another sheet, it'll label it as sheet 2. So if you see here, here's sheet 1 with table 1. Here's sheet 2 with table 2. I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut out sheet 2. Here under tables, we can go ahead and create another table. So if I click on headers, it'll create table 2. So under sheet 1, we have table 1 and table 2. I'm going to cut out table 2 there. Here we have something for recognize, which will um, you can go ahead and recognize whatever's there. Here under function, you can find the sum, average, minimum, maximum, count, product, or show function browser. This is basically if you put numbers inside of here, if you use this to uh, collect data through numbers, you can go ahead and perform a uh, math function up here through the functions. Here's the formula list right down here, which uh, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get up now. Here we have charts, which we can go ahead and add in more charts. You can add in bar graphs and stuff like that. Here under text boxes, where you can go ahead and insert text boxes. Here under shapes, pretty much basic, you can use shapes. Here's the comment, where you can go ahead and add a little sticky note comment. So like, uh, if I went ahead into the G thing right here and typed in green, here under the comment that I inserted, I can go ahead and type something in like, yeah, it's green. I don't even know why I chose green, but anyway. Yeah. So over here, we have a link to go to iWork.com, which I showed you in the description. Here we have the inspector, so if we go ahead and click that, it'll bring up this with the uh, printer setup, uh, all the file name, the tables, text boxes, and all that other kind of stuff. Here we have media, which we can go ahead and um, add in media from either audio, photos, or movies. So you can add even audio, movies, and photos to your document right here. Here we have fonts, which it'll bring up the font manager window, where you can go ahead and change your font right here. Over here is the bar like you have in Microsoft Office, which has all the different options for your text. So if I highlighted something in there, I can go ahead and change the font over here and the font size. I can change the color. I could align it to be on the left and the center on the right. I could go ahead and uh, do any of these options, which I really haven't used yet. Or you can go ahead and do any of the other options right here. So anyway, that's the bar up here. And then over here, we have something here for styles, where you can actually go ahead and you can change the style of your uh, document right here. So we have the basic style which is on right here. But here we also have basic no grid which will look like that. We have the gray which looks like that. Gray headers looks like that. Gray fill, beige, ledger, blue, blue headers, and blue fill. But well, I like using the blue for uh, some reason but I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep it on basic right here. 
And so anyway, uh, also uh, what, one other thing that I wanted to show you was the um, was the checklist. So here's the checklist right here. But uh, what I've actually done is I use the checklist feature to go ahead and make to-do lists. So here in my documents, I have a folder here called a uh, uh, not a folder. I have a file here called video checklist. If I go ahead and open that up, as you see here, I made a checklist on all the videos that I'm going to have to make. So whenever I'm making a video, I'm going to archive when I'm making the video and what the video was called and what date is and once I'm done making it I'm gonna check mark it so uh, I'm making three videos today but they're not all gonna be uploaded at the same day so here with the make a video review of numbers I work I'm gonna go ahead and add a check mark into that saying that I'm done with it because I'm done with it now and then I'm gonna save it and so uh, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and use this checklist to keep track of all the videos that I'm making right here and so so far I've got one checked off so remember if you guys want to send me ideas go ahead and send me the ideas and I'll add them to this checklist and I'll make a video about them and so I'm gonna go ahead and close out of that so basically that is the review of the numbers application which you can go ahead and uh, download from iwork.com or apple.com slash iwork so it's basically a Microsoft Office Excel alternative and in my opinion it's actually better than the normal Microsoft Office Excel so anyway this has been my review of numbers from the Apple iLife suite if you guys want to suggest videos from me please feel free to go on my website which is um, applepc98.net Dot tc so let me just go ahead to the link right here you can go ahead and suggest ideas to me by going here to my contact page and sending me ideas by filling out this contact form so anyway that's been my review of apple numbers thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video